In this video, we're going to cover setting default print options on estimates. We're going to cover the report criteria menu, estimate options, uh, necessary option combinations, and saving your settings as the default. Estimate options in control are selected on the report criteria menu. In control, I have an estimate open here. On the right action bar, I'm going to select standard estimate from the from the print button and our report criteria menu appears we're gonna focus uh, on the options on the report criteria menu go through each one and see how it, they affect our estimates the first item on the report criteria menu is use display name for product looking in control in my product setup this product's name is roll sign print it is also the product code the category is digital prints the display name normally will default to the product code which is roll sign print but suppose that uh, we don't like the terminology of roll sign print and we want to call our product banners so looking at this example uh, on the top when use display name for product is selected we can see that the product uh, description is banner prints okay assuming that we have checked off the use display name for for product option we'll notice in the first example of the first line item the product reads banner prints which is what we changed the display name to unchecking that same option on the uh, report menu the product reads roll sign print which is the actual name of the product so essentially using the display name for product option will change the product name on the estimate from the system name uh, in this case of roll sign print to the display name which we gave it earlier um, which was banner prints the next uh, item I'd, option I'd like to look at is the hide line item description very simply this option hides or does not print the description on the line item looking at this example um, on the first line item we have high line item line item description uh, checked and so the description is blank unchecking it we'll look for the uh, line item description uh, that is on the selecting print estimate barcodes will print a barcode on your estimate if you're using some sort of barcode system uh, normally this item is left unchecked and as you can see it um, simply doesn't it suppresses the barcodes when show line item totals is selected very simply the system is going to print uh, the line item total for each line item left unselected uh, the line items will print with no totals if you want your customer to see the parts on an estimate you are going to select the show parts option and looking at a, a comparison of these uh, two um, this is an, an estimate with the parts list and this is the estimate without the parts list looking at the two um, you can see that the subtotals are printed here with the totals uh, down here in the lower right hand corner of the estimate if print totals is unselected there will be no dollar uh, values shown on the estimate the print totals option simply does that it will print the totals on your estimates the option show entered by will basically if selected show who entered the estimate as you can see when the option is selected entered by in this case a store owner appears if the item is unselected uh, that field is left blank if you have an estimate that includes child items and you do not want to show how much uh, the line item of the child item is uh, you would select roll child totals into parents that'll take the dollar amounts of the child items and move them up to the parent item looking at the example we can see uh, roll child items checked on the first uh, line item here and we have a grand total uh, uh, showing for 68360 the child item has no subtotal leaving that unchecked will produce a subtotal 
for the line for the parent item, which is uh, one, and also for the uh, child item, which is one a. By default, uh, child items don't print on the estimate um, unless you uh, select the print child items option, and that looks something like this. Uh, when print child items is selected, it will print your first line item and any ch child items um, that follow underneath the main um, parent item. Leaving it unchecked will suppress child items and will just list the parent item. If your pricing is generating some sort of discounts for your customers and you want that to show on the estimates, you have to choose the show discounts option. Choosing that option will print, dis, uh, uh, print the discounts uh, on the estimate, uh, leaving that option unchecked hides the discounts from the customers. The next option is print images. If we have any images attached uh, to the product and we want to see them on estimates, we have to select the print images option. And under the first line item, the image that is attached to the estimate will um, will print if that option is selected. Left unchecked, the images are suppressed. If any notes have been typed into the estimate um, and we want them to show, we have to select the show notes option. When the show notes option is selected, the notes will print here on the estimate in the lower left hand corner. If unselected, uh, the field will be left blank. Show payment terms options will print your customer's payment terms on the, on the estimate. Left unchecked, the payment terms will not show. So on the left, we have the show payment terms option selected. And if we look in the lower left hand co corner, the payment terms uh, for that particular customer um, will uh, print. When the show payment terms option is unchecked, that field is left blank. If you have a tax exempt customer and you want their tax exemption ID to appear on the estimate, we would select the next option, which is show tax exemption ID. Looking at the estimate, uh, we notice that uh, in the sub underneath the totals, the tax exempt number appears um, on the estimate with that option chosen. Um, with the option unchosen, that field is um, left blank. Um, if you want um, the estimates to show the price uh, for each unit, we would select Show Unit Price. And looking at this example, when Show Unit Price is selected, we have a quantity of four, uh, and it's broken down um, by the unit price to produce uh, a subtotal on the right here. If the item is unchecked, we have the quantity, but no unit price is shown, um, and we, the only thing we'll see is the subtotal. After you've had a chance to go through your options and determine uh, which ones are going to uh, fit your shop's needs the best, you will want to come over and save these settings. Use the Save These Settings as the default button. That will so, uh, save your options system-wide uh, so that anyone printing estimates uh, will get the same results um, consistently across the board. So to save the defaults, we'll, we'll use the Save These Settings as the default option, and next time that you print um, or pull up estimates, your prior settings will be saved in the system. That concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful.